Yes, we can get you tickets. How many? Four. Four is wonderful. Be prepared to open your purses and wager on the winner. Mm hmm. Mm. We will have a wonderful opening performance before that. All right, I'll see you then. They don't hang up now, do they? Four more tickets. Can you blame them? The amateur king, Lightning Louis, against your homegrown golden boy. We are going to make so much money. Ticket prices are one thing. What do the odds look like? They are quite evenly matched at the moment. Golden Boy is a slight favourite to win, from what I hear, at least from the ticket buyers. That's because these people who can afford the tickets have only seen Tommy fight. They don't know about Louis. But we've seen him fight, Tao Kei. We know what he's capable of. The fight is here, in your ring. Based on that alone, Golden Boy should have the advantage. Who do you want to bet on, Tao Kei? By all accounts, Lewis should win. He's the stronger fighter, the smarter one too. He has more match wins in the underground, whereas Tommy only two wins came as a result of me. It's still a risk, Lim. What if Louis isn't used to these conditions? The ring, the gloves. Then we'll just have to swing the odds in our favour then. The day of the champions bout, the city felt on edge. The fate of the future rested on these two men, who had met as just children. All right, boys. That's it. We're done for today. I don't know if I can do this. Hey, look at me. Focus. If there's anybody you need to fight for, it's a... But, I saw so tell me. You do what you have to do. What if it all goes wrong? Have faith, Lewis. Good luck. I was supposed to take the late bus out to Penang. Call it serendipity or call it Tommy. I suspect he set the fight that night so that I could not watch him. Set to go? I think so. Don't worry, all right? Get away. Start your new life. I don't know. Something feels amiss. Something doesn't feel right, but... Hey, hey, hey. No, not tonight. You don't want to miss your bus. Pa, can you please make sure Tommy is safe? Anna, listen. Pa, please. I know you're on Louis's side, but just keep a watch out for Tommy. What if something happens to him? What if something that isn't supposed to happen? I will keep an eye on Tommy too. All right. I'm going to miss you. I'll call you once I reach. I left. I was certain what I was pursuing was correct. But why did it feel so wrong? Good afternoon. Is Boon Young home? He's at Golden World. Oh, oh dear, I'm late. I'm Mrs. Neo, wife of Tao Kei Neo. <sighs> My husband always gets so hungry before the fights, and out of habit I made all this, but there's no one at home to eat this. Such a waste. You're not going for the fight, right? First door on the left. Thank you.
Who are you? How did you get in? Huh? Um, I have food for everyone. I ask you a question! Let go! Tao Kei Lim has asked Mrs. Neo to prepare some food for the championship bout. Can I see it? Kitchen to the right. Thank you. Put the food and leave. He never told us anything about this. Don't worry about it. You don't want to be the one to answer Tao Kei Lim why his supper hasn't been delivered, right? Don't worry. We've got better things to do. You better keep an eye on Jackie Mason and the other cabaret girls. Make sure they're not causing any trouble. Alright. We need to get you out. I, I don't understand. <sighs> We're family. We don't have much time. Sorry. I need to do this for Faye. For my family. Welcome! I'm so proud to see the two greatest fighters in Malaya here. Come on! Everyone's waiting. Stay focused, bro. Remember why you are fighting. You can do this, Luis. Come on! Here we are at the championship bout. The seats are all sold out tonight. And the who's who of High Malayan society are all here. Lightning Lewis, undefeated on the amateur circuit, takes on his good friend, current welterweight champion, golden boy Tommy Long. But wait, we're not going to the action just yet. To warm us up, formerly known as the one, the only, Kit Wong. Intoxicated by the neon lights You're in the ring, better put up a fight Put up a fight This wicked world of glitter and gold You celebrate it if you sell your soul You wanna win? Fight for your life You gotta survive this wicked world, this wicked world. There we have it, the Golden Goddess herself. Now it always seems like the boys and the girls are at war here in Golden World. Clearly, she's won this round. The crowd just can't get enough of her. And here comes the challenger, the reigning champion of the amateur circuit, unbeaten in over five matches underground, Lightning Lewis! And here comes the welterweight champion. Many people have come, many people have gone, many people have challenged him, 
weighing in at 67 kilograms, the Golden Boy. Unbeaten in his very ring, this welterweight title is his to lose. What are you doing here? I have my whole life ahead of me to chase my dreams, Pa. I know now and I won't let it go. So, what's two hours, right? Final bets, final bets. No more bets after the match starts, okay? Fighters, in! I returned because of what Papa told me. But because of this bond the three of us shared, nightmares turned into dreams and dreams into reality. It was their destiny to fight as it was mine to bear witness. We are about to start the anticipated championship bout between the Golden Boy and Lightning Lewis. Fighter ready! Fight! ready. Fight. 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 the ring and we're off. Tommy lost straight out of the gate. Are we surprised? All that training can prepare you for is to counter the opponent's strengths and weaknesses, but not his strategy to win. Tommy knew that Lewis had the speed to wear him down, so Tommy took the punches like a true pressure fighter. He knew he needed to conserve energy to unleash a blow to end all blows. Hey, hey, hey. It's alright. It's fine. I thought he'd be so. He added some footwork. He knows my game. Hey, Luis, look at me. You remember your game. Keep your focus, alright? Mark that. What does it look like? Almost everyone for Tommy, as we expected. So this time he's not winning. You want to do it now? Do it. And out my bets by two thousand dollars. What? Tauke, that's ten thousand dollars. Just do it. Okay. Michael. As we're about to start round two, the audience waiting in anticipation. Seconds out. And here we go, both fighters out, straight out of the corners. One. Standing toe to toe, trading blows. Amazing counter punches by Lewis. There's the clinch. Referee says break. What aggression shown by both. Trouble catching Lewis here, this young chap, very light on his feet. Moving around like a dancer around the ring. Law, sizing him up. Oh, what a beautiful upper cut down goes Law! The champ is down. Electrified here at Golden World as we're preparing to head into round three. 
both opponents attending to the fighters. Lewis breathing a little heavy. See? Then you'll see you on the way here. No, from Taki's house until here, nobody even look at us. Hang on. What about the face? One guy. But I can distract him. Everyone else here has been sent to work the fight. Which round? Starting off the fourth. I have to see Luis. Please. All right. Give me the combination. Yeah, as you can see, seasoned trainer mouthing some words of encouragement to his fighter. Seconds out. Seconds out. The referee is signaling. Seconds out. As we're going into round three. Fighter ready. Fight! <laughs> Lewis throwing some nice jabs. Some aggression here from Lewis. Pushing the golden boy back into the ropes. Oh, heavy, heavy left hook by the champion, sending the young fighter dazed. Two minutes. Showing some true grit, he's really made of. The waters are too far too slowly. It should be done by now. Hello? It's unbelievable. At the start of the match, we all had our eyes on Golden Boy, but he's just lost his way. Lewis is in the lead. You just left me, alone in the room. Have you placed your bets, sir? Oh, yes. Laid down all my money. So have I. You like danger, don't you? I'm not here, William. Far too many eyes. The more the merrier. Hmm, let's see. $3,000 in April. 
$5,000 in November. Ah, for a boxing permit. I don't blame you, really. Daki Lim can be such a snake. So all of it, your sudden manners, your kindness, is all an act. Not an act. Searching. After all these years, to finally be able to say that these are the men who killed my sister? Your threats won't go anywhere. I have direct lines to all the editors. Maybe you can stop the news of your men falling sick. Or of your investments in Golden World. But rumors will spread. The British officers in the other states would want to know if they were true. I wonder what that would do for your chances of remaining as councilman. I can pay you. Very handsomely. Money. Again. How ordinary. I would rather die alone, huh? And on the streets and suffer the injustices of this place for one second longer. So, are you ready to work together, Councilman? Fight already! Fight already! Fight! <laughs> Throwing Hobby Law out of his rhythm. Okay, what are we going to do? We don't have enough to pay them all. Tao Kei? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the winner by knockout and still the undisputed welterweight champion, Tommy the Golden Hey. Please. Forgive me. I don't. Please. Congratulations, Tommy. 
So you're back? Only for the match. I'll still be going. I understand. It was never about me. Friends. Friends. Luis! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you do this? Look at your face! What did you do to my mother? You don't seem too flustered, Tauke. Considering the amount of money you, we, just lost. Thousands of dollars to those rich people outside. Do you think me wise, widow? Certainly. You're one of the smartest men I've ever met in my life. This is just a minor setback. We've come back from so much before. The stock market crashing, Mason scandal, the rubber plantations closing. We will come back from this. We will. We will make back all the money. We just need a new plan. I am afraid I can't support any more of your plans. You cannot protect Gordon Wool. I can't protect you. It's okay. I know you lost a lot of money betting on Lewis. But you gotta think this true. You have put so much money into Gordon Wool. You have done so much for the Cabaret Girls. Don't think any of this has been forgotten. Hmm. What did you do? Where are my boots? Come in! You! No hasty moves now, Tauke. Where did you get them? When were you going to tell us? Or were you just waiting to one day use them against us? Your secrets are not as hidden as you think they are, Tauke. The last people you should ever cross are the people who work for you. Do you know what you have done? Take him away. Let me go! You! It has come to our attention that the owner of Golden Worlds, one Lim Boon Leong, has partaken in several illegal activities here on these premises. The unlicensed sale of opium, the attempted bribery of government officials, and above all, illegal betting and racketeering activities regarding the boxing fights here at Golden World. Tonight was a covert operation. And as a result, we have obtained enough evidence to launch an investigation into Tao Kei Lim. Mr. Peterson, how did you discover... Thank uh, you. Uh, we will not take further questions until investigations are complete. Tao Kei Lim, Tao Kei Lim, do you agree with these charges? Can you substantiate on these allegations towards you? Tao Kei! You... Sorry. Talk to him. Talk to him.
Pleasure doing business with you. Just in case you think this is all over. Six years. Six years of continued investments, bets, deals. You'd be surprised how much info there is on all of you. One wrong move, Councilman. He didn't play any dirty tricks on you. He didn't harm you. Well, that is not entirely true. Tao Ke Lim did try to play a dirty trick. He tried to drug the water that you were going to drink, Tony. I saw it. I promise you a clean fight, no? I always keep my promises. One more thing. Hey. It's the deed to my father's land. Tao okay, Lim stole it. Tommy. Golden World is yours. It's not so simple. We can't prove that Tokay Lim stole the land. But I saw him take it from the house. So many people saw it. Let me see that. This deed, it's not genuine. What do you mean? I sat by your father as he did his bills and papers. He couldn't have signed this. He can't even hold a pen with his good hand. He was left-handed. He couldn't have signed it? It's fake. I have some friends at City Hall. Maybe if we can show them proof that this was not his signature, they could open a new investigation into who the true owner of the land is. We did it, sir. So the champion's bout brought about the fall of one of the most powerful businessmen Malaya had ever known. With the economy recovering and cities coming out of the Great Depression, things began to look up. So why did I choose to tell this story? I wanted to let people know about the boxers from the 1930s, so their feats, their legacies, won't be lost, like names in the wind. And perhaps more selfishly, it's been a long time since I've spoken to my best friends. Let's welcome the couple up for the very first dance! Oh, uh, Miss Kit, sorry, sorry, everyone. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I know my wife, uh, and she likes music, so I thought I would, if it's alright with everyone, I would sing a song. Yeah. 
No one makes friends quite like we do when we are young. Tommy became rich beyond most people's wildest dreams. He didn't need to step inside the ring again. Maybe Papa was right after all. Lewis had lost in the ring to a better fighter. Or just maybe Lewis remembered a little boy's dream. Lewis was a champion. He always was. He was the champion of the people. In the ring, there are no friends nor lovers. There are just two contenders, fighting with honor, fighting in every corner. Not for any belt, nor for just glory, but because they were the best. This deserved to be our story. Standing before my life ahead the past is dead and gone Forsaking all others Now I pledge to only fight for so Oh uh-huh.